Recent cold temperatures have led to a spike in demand for propane. But those high prices are leaving some mid-Missourians in the cold. KOMU8's Meg McLeod tells us how one family is struggling to keep warm. I've prayed. I try not to worry. For Tina Watson and her family, this winter has been especially tough. Brutal <laughs> and very cold and expensive. She's a single mom with mouths to feed, a home to heat, and bills to pay, all on her monthly disability check. I can handle just about anything else, but not being able to provide for my children? I don't, I can't tell you how that makes you feel as a parent, you know, just to provide the basic necessities, because you can't afford it. Basic necessities like keeping her kids warm at night. I have it set on 60 right now. She had to buy space heaters for her children. We've ran out of propane twice in the last two months. That's because prices spiked and Watson could not afford the minimum delivery. Normally, just a regular delivery would take every penny I have for the month. And it's gone up so high that I've had to borrow money in January to help afford a del delivery. And in February, I didn't have any money at all. Residential propane prices in Missouri jumped from less than $2 a gallon in November to nearly $4 by the end of January due to increased demand. We're exporting the additional capacity of what's been brought on by natural gas production. And then we saw a huge amount of propane demand for grain drying this year. The corn crop came out very wet and they used propane to help dry the, the grain down. So we saw huge demand for that. And then really, the thing that came on top of that was the fact that we've had a huge cold snap that started back in November. Missouri-based company MFA Oil receives most of its propane from Conway, Kansas, but the Kansas hub just couldn't keep up with demand this winter. We were only getting two-thirds of, of our needs met through the local terminals, so we were having to send trucks to Texas and Mississippi in those sort of places. So instead of having a two-hour round trip to deliver 10,000 gallons of propane, you were talking two or three days trip. Consumers like Watson are feeling the price hike most. The folks that are really constrained by how much money they have and are kind of living hand to mouth, they're the ones that are really folk forced into buying propane when it is at these exceptionally high rates. May suggests those customers use alternative methods to conserve propane and keep their home warm, like taking a towel and placing it around a drafty window or door, purchasing a space heater, or closing off an unused room. Watson's hoping she'll have enough propane to last until spring. I don't know how long it's going to last, and I don't know how to afford any more. Watson says she has just one wish. I just hope spring gets here soon. <laughs> Meg McLeod, KOMU 8 News, Audrain County. May predicts prices will not hike to $4 again before spring gets here, but he encourages consumers to sign up for a budget plan to avoid future price spikes.